Sometimes we're so focused on what art supplies we want to buy that we forget that free art supplies are right in front of us. No matter where you live, we've all been given the wonderful gift of nature. We don't need to wait for Amazon to deliver it. We can get it for free right outside our front door. What we often forget is that we have the biggest inspiration available to us right in front of our eyes. But we tend to dismiss it as we are so focused on the latest and greatest. I invite you to look up from your phone, disconnect from social media, and look all around you. I encourage you to step outside your front door and embrace your creative opportunities. Whether you live in a city, the suburbs, or the country, near a beach, or near the mountains, you have everything you need right at your fingertips. All you have to do is step outside. I do, though, want to share a secret with you. Shh. But keep it between us. I'm not an outdoors person. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm a homebody. I love being surrounded by things that connect me to who I am. I feel at peace at home. Very much like a caterpillar feels inside a cocoon, just ready to come out and fly. And don't get me wrong, I love nature. All the things my heart wants to express are found in nature. I love trees, animals, flowers, and especially the beach as it energizes me. I'm so grateful for what nature has given to us all, but all I want to do is be inside creating art, creating something that brings meaning to my life and purpose to this world, that frees the soul and breaks the barriers that I've put in my mind that tell me I can't. Nature has granted us this gift, one of the most powerful gifts. It is not only an inspiration for my artwork, but it's a source of bounty art supplies, like these twigs or sticks. They give great texture to a project. I often use them to create natural looking assemblage pieces or creating mixed media projects when combined with paint. They're so readily available in nature as they easily fall from trees. You can find them basically everywhere, in parks, forests, and even by the beach. There are other natural wooden elements that I love using from nature, such as bark, driftwood, or even cut up pieces of wood. I feel that our connection with wood is eternal, as most of us encounter wood almost everywhere in our daily lives, whether it's the house we live in or the furniture we're using. We're so dependent on this natural resource that we forget it's so readily available to us. It is one of the most ancient natural resources, and so we should embrace it, fall in love with it, find purpose, but please respect it and show kindness by only picking what has already fallen. By respecting the earth, we respect ourselves. I picked up this piece of fallen bark as a surface for a project. The uneven surface is so gorgeous and I can't wait to transform it into something that connects me to what it belongs to. A majestic creation, a beautiful tree with branches and leaves. And then when those leaves fall on the ground, I get to pick them up and use them in my art. One of my favorite seasons is fall, and the crisp leaves can be used not only for fall decoration, but I've used them for monoprinting on a gel plate or just including them as texture in my art. I try not to pick them right from the tree, but pick up those that have already fallen. Leaves like maples and ferns have an amazing shape that can be used for echo dyeing papers and fabrics as they create beautiful designs. I've seen wonderful videos on YouTube on how to do it and it's on my list to try. And then flowers, the beauty of nature, so many kinds and so beautiful in color, I can't help but get inspired by flowers the same way bees and butterflies 
get drawn to them. I remember quite a few years ago, I used to pick flowers and flatten them inside some books. I don't know why I thought I would use them to make cards and scrapbooks, but I never did. I still have them tucked in this beautiful handmade book I bought. They remind me of where I was when I picked them. It was a very important place. It was from the city I stayed at when we were adopting our son 19 years ago. It brings back a lot of emotions and blessed memories. I've also seen how flowers can create your own dyes that you can use to stain some papers and some fabric. I used hibiscus here to stain some fabric so I could use it in my art journal and have some very earthy looking supply. All you have to do is boil them and then let them air dry to create a tie dye effect. And I know I said I don't love the outdoors, but there's one exception to that feeling. I love the ocean. That's my favorite nature spot. It's the one place I feel at home when I'm not at home. The calming sounds of the waves, the warm sand between my toes, or just splashing in the salty water brings back so many fond memories of my childhood growing up in Venezuela. We used to go to the beach a few times a year, and every time I go on holidays with my family nowadays, I reminisce on my childhood. One of the things my daughter and I love to do together is walk along the beach and pick up shells. We're so proud when we find the most unusual ones. I've collected so many shells over the years, as I always loved using them in my projects. I started using them in my scrapbook layouts and then incorporated them into my altered mixed media projects. From the beach, I also found another amazing nature supply, which was sand. Its greedy property helps create amazing texture for my mediums. You can mix it into thick gesso or modeling paste to create a very highly textured paste for your art projects. Then you can use it through a stencil or cover a surface to create texture. After doing a lot of research, I found other creatives that have experimented with soil and earth and clay. They created their own paints by using the pigment from the clay. For example, creating red earthy colored paint from ground up red clay. There's many videos on YouTube explaining how to do it, using a pestle and mortar to grind the earth and using mediums to create the colors. Another nature's bounty is pine cones or acorns. You can use them in your assemblage or Christmas projects. There are so many things in nature that can be used in our art. We just have to look around us, like feathers, nests, or reeds from the pond. It's the simple act of finding what you never thought you needed and using your imagination to create magical moments we can experience. One simple object can make a beautiful art project, and one project can change someone's life. I'd love to show you how to use nature in your art. I've put a playlist for you right here with many ideas for you to consider. All you have to do is just step outside your front door.